Devi works upon you in such a way that success will come then otherwise. Some of them are telling miraculous stories, it all depends how much you imbibe out of it. It's an opportunity to enable yourself, to empower yourself. Namaskaram Sadhguru, my friend has an Avigna Yantra. It has brought her immense prosperity, health and well-being. But there are some obstacles which she is unable to overcome. Why? This incident happened in Chennai. Every day somebody went to Tiruvan Mayur temple, very long distance, every day traveled and begged, Shiva, do something. All kinds of fools, this one, this one, this one, you gave them wealth. <laughs> Me, nothing. I am so poor, do something, just make me win a lottery. Please, let me get one lottery, after that I'll fix my life, just make sure I win one lottery. Every day, every day. One day completely broken, what is this? You have been my kula daivam, I'm wasting my life, my kula is wasting my… our lives with you. You cannot even make me get one lottery. Shiva was in a patient mood that day. <laughs> so he said, please at least buy a ticket <laughs> See, this must be understood. The Devi is not going to work on your bank balance. Devi works upon you, works upon you in such a way that you are in a conducive state, that you will be naturally successful. Success does not come because you wish. Success comes because you have taken on the right kind of capability and attitude within yourself. Your body, your mind, everything is tuned for success. If you do not tune yourself for success, if you work hard twenty-four hours of the day, success will not come. So the Devi is only tuning you up for success. Devi is not going to fill your coffers. Devi is not going to fill your… you know, fix your bank balance. So whoever your friend, he or she, let them start doing something towards their well-being. They will definitely see if they're connected with that energy, life will function better. You're tuned for success, but success is not assured. For nobody is assure, assured. For nobody it is assured, I want you to know. Success means, from here I will drive. If I have to successfully reach my destination, it doesn't matter how good a driver, driver I am, still I have to drive with certain sense, certain alertness. It doesn't matter who the hell you are, that's the nature of life, you better get it. No, no, every day I sat like this, full day, Sadhguru, I'm sitting like this only. Full day, if you sit, definitely it will not come. <laughs> you sit for some time, imbibing this energy, go out and do your life the best you can, you will see things will for sure work better because life and success happens to the extent, if you want to cut through something, success is essentially, essentially cutting through something. If you want to cut through something, the sharpness of your knife will determine how quickly, how easily you cut through, isn't it? This is just that, your mind, your body, your energies, how sharply they're focused, that quickly it'll cut through. So the yantra is only place to sharpen your knife, that is not the place to cut. Yes, you're sharpening your knife so that when you go out, it will easily slice through life. So yantra is not… it'll not rain money for you, but it'll tune you for success. Success will come more effortlessly than otherwise. That I'm sure many people are experiencing. Some of them are telling miraculous stories, 
It all depends how… how much you imbibe out of it. So, this does not mean the moment you have mantra, yantra in your house, tomorrow somebody will come and give you the raffle winnings to you even though you did not buy the ticket. Such things don't happen, okay? That would make you a fool, isn't it? Divine will not do such things to you because that would make you into an utter fool, isn't it? When you go to the dining hall, please use your right hand and eat, okay? Devi <laughs> If your grace is upon me, let the food go into my hand. My hand is bandaged, I can't use it. doesn't work like that. If both your hands are not usable, at least you must look at somebody, <laughs> means they may put it in your mouth. <laughs> in the name of divinity, don't make yourself disabled. Divinity is an enablement, divinity is an empowerment, it is not a disability. Most people are using the divine as a way to disable themselves. Please do not use spirituality and divinity to disable yourself. It's an opportunity to enable yourself, to empower yourself. Use it accordingly.